is Keisha here at TradeWithResolve.com and I hope you're having a great trading day. If you're new to the channel and interested in platform tutorials, viewing live day trades, or learning some of the basic terminology that comes along when getting involved in the stock market, please consider subscribing to the channel. In today's Thinkorswim platform tutorial, we are going to discuss how to set alerts and how to set up hotkeys. Now before you can set an alert, you will need to confirm your email address and your phone number so that you can receive an email or a text message. So in order to do so, you will want to go to Setup and Application Settings. And you can scroll over to Notifications. And once you select the Notifications tab, you can enter in your email address. and then you will select get confirmation code and then you'll do the same for your phone number you will simply enter your phone number agree to the terms and conditions and then you can select get confirmation code and you will receive a message via email and text message asking you to confirm that this is the correct email address and phone number once you have confirmed then you will see a green message that says confirmation completed. So this is how you ensure that you receive the notifications from the alerts that you will be setting. And then you'll simply select apply settings. All right, so now that we have entered in our email address and cell phone number and confirmed that those are accurate, we can now be notified of our alerts. So how do you go about setting up your alerts? You can simply go to the Market Watch tab and select Alerts. So let's say we want to set up an alert for Apple. So you type Apple you type your ticker symbol in and then you can click on the price here and then select create alert so we have apple listed here so currently apple is trading at 191.75 let's say i would like to be alerted when the price is at or above 192 dollars for example you can then enter a note So for example, remember to buy 200 shares. And then you can go down to notify with and scroll down. So this is where you can select how you will be notified. So you can be notified through the Thinkorswim platform. So you can select the bell for the sound. So that would be the sound alert. You can also choose a ding or a ring, whichever is most pleasant for you. And then you can choose to have an email sent to the specified email address. You can also have a text message sent during and after US market hours. And then you can also agree to have push notifications sent to your mobile device as well. All right, so we have opted to be notified if the price or Apple is at or above $192. We typed in our note, and then we said that we would like to be alerted via the platform by email and text message. And then you will simply choose create. All right, so now our alert has been created. So you can see here, here is our alert ID. It shows us that we are interested in Apple. We already entered the conditions in which we would want to be notified. And then we have our note here. So that is how you can set up an alert so that you don't have to necessarily sit at your computer all day waiting for a specific price level for a particular stock. You can walk away and then once your alert is triggered, you can come back to your platform and set up your trade if you wish. All right, so now let's discuss hotkeys. So you can find the hotkeys under setup and application settings, and then we have a hotkeys tab. So if you like hotkeys, you can go ahead and customize what you would like for them to be. 
So for example, if you want to view charts quickly, it is control six. You can go in and actually change it. So for example, right now it is control six. You can change it to control A. Whatever you want it to be, you can go in and customize it. So let's try out one of these hotkeys. So control six is for charts. And let's try that out. Control number six and here we are, we can see our stock charts immediately. So you can go in and set up the hotkeys however you wish in order to access specific windows very quickly. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and if you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.